welcome back students we were seeing the topic on plant tissues so let's continue we were seeing the meristematic tissue in which the meristematic tissue also becomes a permanent tissue the first type of permanent tissue is the simple permanent tissue now these are the tissues which are also called as simple because they are composed of similar type of cells and they have the common origin and common function so they are called as simple tissues now they are further classified into four types of tissues first is the parenchyma second is collenchyma third is sclerenchyma and fourth one is the epidermis so simple permanent tissue are mainly simple due to the similar type of cells as well as they have common origin and function let's start with the parenchyma tissue parenchyma tissue in which the it is the most specialized primitive tissue or you can say old it mainly consists of thin walled cells so cells are mainly thin walled and the main function of parenchymatous tissue is the assimilation assimilation is also called as absorption and storage of reserved food material like starch fats and proteins so parenchymatous tissue mainly involves the process of absorption and storage of starch fats and proteins they also store the waste products like gums raisins and the inorganic waste material so these are the parenchymatous cells where they mainly have the function of absorption and storage and their cell wall is they have a thin thin walled cells now the location of parenchymatic cells is that this tissue is found in the palisade or you can say the spondy tissue in the green leaves and the stem cortex of the herbs where the photosynthesis mainly occurs so parenchyma uh, is a form of para parenchyma is a form of parenchyma possessing large air cavities okay in aquatic plants the cavities in the intercellular spaces gives buoyancy to the plant and helps them float in water so the large cavities in the aqua uh, present in the parenchyma cells in the aquatic plants is responsible for the buoyancy next comes the collenchyma collenchyma cells in greek in which collen means the gum and enchyma means the infusion so the infusion of gum that means it is chiefly uh, in the hypodermis of the stems and leaves where and it is absent in the monocot in the root so as you can see here so the infusion of the gum in the cells uh, so the and due to this they are called as collen gum so students in this session we have seen the simple permanent tissues mainly divided into parenchyma collenchyma sclerenchyma and epidermis parenchyma are the cells which have thin walled and they are responsible for the assimilation and storage they are located in the uh, palisade or you can say the spondy tissue spongy tissues in the uh, green leaves and stem cortex next comes the collenchyma which is uh, mainly responsible for the infusion of gums in the cells and it is present in the hypodermis of the stems and leaves the location of collenchyma tissue acts as a supporting tissue in the stems of the young plants it provides mechanical support elasticity and tensile that means strong strength to the plant body it helps in the manufacturing of sugar and storing it as storing it as a starch next it is present in the margin of the leaves and resists the tearing effect of the wind as it gives the tensile strength to the body that means it can resist a very tearing effect of the wind also so students in this session we have seen the plant tissues and for the session we will have a more detailed look regarding the plant tissues thank you